Friday, y'all. It is lunchtime. I'm getting some pizzas in the oven. We're going to eat lunch, clean up, and when the kids finish their schoolwork this afternoon, we're going to the farmer's market. I want to see if they have any pumpkins out yet, and I'm looking for some mums. I saw some at Walmart the other day, but they did not look the greatest. Ingles usually has really pretty ones, but they don't have any out yet, so we're going to see if they have any at the farmer's market today. See that? That is the beginnings of the pickle bush cucumber plant. I'm overcome with excitement right now. <laughs> oh, you missed the bag. <laughs> what about a big one? Oh, yeah, that's a big one. You want to go to the farmer's market? Yeah. We got tomatoes, apples, no pumpkins yet. Oh, you know what? I do need some apple cider for a recipe. I can't remember how much I need. Should we just get half a gallon or a little one? A little one. They're cuter. That should be good. <laughs> Back there where they do all the packing. Butternut squash, spaghetti squash, acorn squash, dill cucumbers. Okra, zucchini, squash. I need some peppers over here. Mom, I smell something cakey. You smell something cakey? Uh-huh. Cow horn peppers right here. I've never had those before. Uh, we got some pow pow sauce over here. Traffic jam, what's traffic jam? Peaches, strawberries, cherries, red raspberries, and cranberries. Mm. <laughs> Christmas jam. Let's see what's in the Christmas jam, Manny. Strawberries and cranberries. Cherry bombs. Yeah, let's try a couple of cherry bombs. Some of these jokers will light your tail up, and that's no pun in No, it. no pun. Peach cobbler, pickled beet and quail eggs, red hot pickled bologna. Yeah. This is the aisle he wanted to see, Daddy. He kept saying he wanted to see this aisle. You want to see this? Yeah, which item is this? This is a good one. <laughs> Some mixes here, red velvet cake mix, buttermilk pancake, cornmeal, hush puppy mix, molasses cookie mix. Is it just you and me, kid? Yep. Daddy and Sissy and Manly took off the other way. We were still looking, weren't we? Sweet baby pickles, apple picles, pickles with a hint of cinnamon, green tomato salsa, flaming apple salsa. Peach cider, muscadine cider, scumpernong cider, apple cider. Here's what Manly was smelling, something cakey. Peach cake, strawberry cake. Look at those. Red velvet. Oh, they have the apple cider donuts. Blueberry and strawberry. Is that the one you want to try? Pretty much any jelly or jam you can imagine over here. Apple cider jelly, blackberry, cherry, blueberry, bear, elderberry, triple berry, mint jelly, harvest jam, fruits of the forest jam, Vidalia onion jelly, red tomato, red tomato preserves, tomato jam, peach butter, strawberry butter. Have you ever had strawberry butter before? Apple pie preserves. Like you got any apple pie left over? Preserve it. <laughs> Pear chutney, tomato chutney, smoky mountain hot sauce, apple cider mustard, smoky chipotle mustard. Hey, here's sweet potato butter.
this is new the eatery they have custom sandwiches gourmet salads and party platters open daily monday through saturday nine to five sunday one to five lots of places to sit over here this is the patio there's more places to sit down there at the shed this is where you order food from the eatery they're already setting up the little uh, kid things over there for the, the corn maze and all that, the little kid corn maze. Thank you, sir. I smell a little dough. All right, y'all, we are back home. Here's the little farmer's market haul that we got. Jonah's getting a scumper on. So we already tried the ghost pepper cheese. It is very good, but very spicy. Where it says caution, extremely hot, yes. My mouth's still burning a little bit. Two little jugs of the apple cider, some apple cider donuts. These peppers, I can't remember what they were called. Hot cherry bombs, is that what they were called? Something like that. I know bomb was in there. And then we got these cow horn peppers. I'm not even sure, they didn't have hot written on these, so they're probably not hot, but we've never tried them before. So we got a couple of those. We got some more okra to go with the okra that we've been getting out of the mini garden down there. Cause at first we were thinking about, uh, Titus was gonna cook some beef tips and gravy with rice tonight, and he was gonna make some okra and corn. We got this corn here. But then I think he decided he wants to wait and make that on a different night and we might go somewhere tonight. We're still deciding that, we'll see. We got some of these finger hot peppers too. We've gotten these before, they're really good. Some butternut squash and then of course, honey, homegrown strawberry preserves and Titus got some of this chili lime rub. And I think that's it besides uh, the kids got the blue raspberry licorice and some gummy worms over there. That's it, they didn't have any pumpkins yet. She told us that it's probably gonna be October when they have pumpkins for sale and when they start the you pick pumpkin patch, but the corn maze and everything starts next weekend. I'm gonna try a little bite of this apple cider donut here. Manny wants to try a piece, there you go. You want some, Cece? Mm -hmm. They are really good. Oh. Buy more of those. Buy more of these, yeah. We decided on pizza for tonight, and I'm gonna make some chocolate chip blondies for dessert. So I've got the oven preheated to 350. We need two bowls and a nine by 13 pan. These are really easy to put together. You can get them in the oven quick. I'm gonna melt one stick of butter. Chopping it up a little so it'll melt faster. In here, we're gonna go ahead and put one and a half, one and a half, <laughs> one and a half. One and a half cups of packed brown sugar. Sorry, my microwave is loud, y'all. Ever since that big snowstorm we had back four or five years ago. I can't even remember, it might have been six years ago. It might have been seven, I don't know. It's been a long time ago. We had that big snowstorm and lost power for, I can't even remember how long the power was out. Whenever the power came back on, this microwave made this loud rattling noise and it has now for years. So I'm not sure what caused that, but yeah. It was after that big snowstorm. Okay, we're pouring the butter in here with the brown sugar and I'm gonna get two eggs. Let me scrape the rest of this butter out. It's just me and Mr. Man in here right now, and he's over there playing with his transformers. So you'll hear lots of transforming noises happening back there. All right, two slightly beaten eggs, a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, we'll mix all this together, and then we're gonna put the dry ingredients in this bowl over here. All right, we've got one and a half cups of all-purpose flour in there. We need half a teaspoon of baking powder and half a teaspoon of salt. We'll whisk all this together and then we're gonna add it in with the brown sugar mixture. gonna put in about one cup of chocolate chips. I'm just gonna eyeball it. We'll fold these in and that's it. We're gonna spray the pan and they're going in the oven for about 18 to 20 minutes.
these are amazing. It's like chocolate chip cookie meets brownie. It's wonderful. Tyler said he would rather have these than a chocolate chip cookie or a brownie. It's because it's the perfect mixture of both. They're really chewy and fudgy like brownies, you know, but they taste like a chocolate chip cookie. Fudgy though, it's like a fudgy chocolate chip cookie. They're great, they're great. <laughs> holes all my life ain't hit nothing yet. There's a lot of other guys out there that's watching me right now. Been working your tail off too. We just ain't never hit no treasure. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a steep hole. Funny thing is, some boys out there uh, ain't never put a callus on their hand. They got a lot of treasure. They getting their papa's carrots. Mm -hmm. My papa didn't even have no vegetables. <laughs> cabbage, no cabbage. Right. 